Today on this 2014 Toyota RAV4, we're going to show you part number C13149. This is a Class 3 2-inch receiver hitch from Kurt. Next, we'll give you some measurements to help you out in selecting some accessories for your hitch, such as a bicycle rack or a cargo carrier. From top of receiver opening down to the ground, we have a measurement of 13 and a quarter inches. And from the center of a hitch pin hole to the edge of a bumper will be about two and three quarter inches. All right, this is what the hitch looks like when it's installed on the RAV4. You can see it's a two inch opening here. It's a class three receiver hitch. It has a, a loop on the bottom for your safety chains. Use a 5 8 hitch pin on the side. All right, and then, this, and then the main frame of the hitch is a round tube hitch. It goes all the way out to the edge of the frame. It also wraps around a trunk well and then reaches up and up into the frame and over the exhaust. All right, we can see how a frame bracket for the hitch goes up and reaches up to the frame here. And we got plenty of room between the exhaust and our hitch as well. That was the passenger side. Now if we look at the driver's side, it's a lot easier to see how the frame bracket goes up and over to the frame and it uses the pre-existing threaded holes in the frame to attach on both sides. All right, now I'll go ahead and show you how the hitch is installed. Okay. All right, we'll go ahead and take a look underneath our vehicle real fast to get an idea of what we're working with. All right, first off, this tie down hook for shipping purposes is going to be removed and permanently taken away from the vehicle. We're gonna to have to lower our exhaust a little bit to put the hitch up and then this bracket right here gets unbolted and it can be even flipped around, point the other way away from the hitch or it can be simply removed. All right, let's go ahead and remove the tie down bracket. We'll be using a 17 millimeter socket. Now our hitch will use this hole here, but not this one and it'll use this threaded uh, hole here. Now it's a good idea to spray it down with some lubricant and go ahead and clean it out using a tube brush. We're using part number 814092. I cut the end off of mine and just stuck it in a drill. We'll go ahead and take one of the bolts that come with the hitch and we'll go ahead and thread it in. We'll get a quick test fit to make sure it threads in okay. Okay, once we're satisfied with these threads, we'll move over to the passenger side. Let's go ahead and lower our exhaust out of the way. I'm going to spray this down with some spray lubricant once again, and then just pry it off using the pry bar. Okay, this should give us plenty of room to work with. All right, let's go ahead and remove this rod. We'll go ahead and remove the bolt here and here using a 12 millimeter socket. Okay, once we have it removed, we can take it and flip it over and rotate it where it stays away from the center of the vehicle. But since at this point, I think it might be just as easy as just to leave it off. Okay, let's go ahead and clean up the threads on the passenger side here. Again, our hitch will use this threaded hole and this one. Some more spray lubricant and a tube brush. Okay, with the threads cleaned out, it's a good idea to check one of the hitch bolts and make sure it threads in correctly. Once we've checked all the threads, we'll go ahead and show you how the hardware works with the hitch. Okay, all right, here's our bolt that we tested our threads with and then we'll add our canal tooth washer. You'll notice the teeth on here, on the washer, always face towards the hitch. And this is the same fastener combination on both sides of the hitch. Let's go ahead and slide the hitch up and over the exhaust. And we'll get one bolt on each side to help hold and stabilize the hitch. All right, with one on each side installed, we'll go ahead and install the remaining two fasteners. Okay, with all our hardware loosely installed, we'll go ahead and tighten down the bolts, and then we'll torque them down and specify any instructions. Okay, we'll use a 19 millimeter socket or a three quarter inch socket will work just fine in these fasteners.
hitch is tightened down, we'll go ahead and reinstall the exhaust. Spray some more lubricant onto the rubber hanger. And we'll put it back into place. And with that, that'll finish it for the install of part number C13149 on our 2014 Toyota RAV4.